Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. So a lot of folks have been wanting me to talk about the whole Benzino versus Amber Rose situation. This whole situation is a hot damn mess. So what went down is that basically the other day, uh, Benzino's baby's mother, Althea, was showing pictures of her on Snapchat with their son at the slut walk out there in L.A. As we all know, Amber Rose had her second annual slut walk. Um, Kendra Wilkinson was there. Black China was there. There was a lot of people there. I didn't care. You know, I saw a few pictures and moved the hell on. I could care less about this damn slut walk. Anyways, Benzino decided to chime in and state his opinion about the entire situation. So first what happened is that Benzino took to um, Instagram and this is what he wrote. He wrote it under one of her pictures um, that Amber Rose needed some models and artists for her slut walk. So Benzino writes, thank God my 19 year old daughter doesn't follow this garbage. Thank God she has parents. He says patents, but I think he meant parents. Thank God she has parents to guide her from the BS. This shit needs to stop. Shake my head. I'm a time where young girls, this, I guess he can't write. I'm at a time where young girls need guidance. This is exactly what we don't need. What the happened to us as a society where we condone and support this BS. I'm starting to hate this industry. So then Amber Rose responded. She goes, hey, I'm at Benzino. One day someone will call your daughter a slut, a hoe, a whore, etc. for no reason at all. Besides the fact that she is beautiful, confident, and possibly if she wears something sexy and or God forbid gets sexually assaulted, victim blamed. Please educate yourself on what the movement is before you speak ignorantly. You're welcome to visit AmberRoseSlutWalk.com for more information. So that's what went down. So after Amber Rose, you know, replied back to him, Benzino caught his ass getting on camera, honey, and going off. I want you guys to go ahead and check out Benzino's footage here. I want y'all to watch both of his videos. Check this out, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Okay, check this out, right? Like, I'm really confused. So y'all are complaining about women who give themselves up to men because they're in the limelight, okay? Then if get mad when somebody judges them for it. You get mad if somebody says, oh, she's a hoe, whatever, but then stick up for the person who's who's basically embracing it. Like, I'm confused. Like, which one is it? Like, the whole slut walk thing started in Australia for rape. This has nothing to do with rape. This is basically embracing that, oh, well, it's okay for me to sleep with a thousand men and, you know, I, I should be held to the same standard as a men are. Yo, y'all are bugging, man. And real talk here, yeah, I got a daughter, and she's not falling for it. So I can give a fuck about how any of y'all think about what I'm saying, because that's y'all, and that's y'all's daughters. But mine's ain't going for it. And y'all have a good day. You see, this isn't about somebody calling somebody's name. People call people's names. This ain't about that. See, this is about teaching our daughters that you don't have to sleep around with men for money to get ahead in life, or that you could be even better than a man if you studied and worked hard and you can accomplish anything in life without degrading yourself. It's not ever been about what you wear. People wear all kinds of things. It's about how you hold yourself as a woman. Okay, so after his video went viral and folks started going in on him, Amber Rose decided to respond back to Benzino, and this is what Amber Rose had to say. After the video went viral, folks started dragging Benzino and kind of going off on him, and Benzino wanted to explain in further detail what he meant about the entire situation. So I'm gonna go ahead and read to you guys what Benzino had to say about everything. It says, you see what I'm saying? I never mentioned your name. I left it alone, but there you go judging me without even knowing me. And it's funny because what you're supposed to be against is judging. Listen, you uneducated, hypocritical fool. I'm a great father, a great man. Make no mistake about it, Miss Rose. You got where you at. You got where you're at from sucking the right eggplant. And I'm not a hater. That's how you came up, mama. More power to you. Don't reap the benefits, then cry about it when the public looks at you a certain way. And for you to come out after you slut walk and say I'm no role model and mothers should raise their own damn children is pathetic. Who do you think 75% of your followers are? Young girls, you doo-doo brain. They're the ones who look up to you and follow your garbage. I knew you was gonna crack. You were better off looking pretty and keeping your mouth shut. 
because when you open it, you expose your ignorance. The problem with your whore walk is that there's no real meaning. You're trying to mix a gay parade with a feminist movement, which no top feminist will ever follow, with the rape movement, which you never once supported any victim of rape ever on your page, or your BS talk show, which I'm sure will be canceled soon, with the... With slut shaming, which is stupid because you're dressing like a hoe and then complaining when somebody says you're dressing like a hoe. You're exposed and you're mad. As far as Althea bringing my son, that was her choice. Mine would have been for her to go and leave him because of the nasty adult thing trash that you had there. But she is the mother and I have to respect that. I actually feel sorry for Wiz and his son because at the end of the day, in some areas in life, women are supposed to be held at a higher standard than men. That is the way it has been forever. Thank God you don't have a daughter, 100%. Shout out to all the women out there who held their own class and dignity and worked hard for what they got. So Amber Rose decided to clap back and this is what Amber Rose had to say. So Amber Rose says, oh, Benzino, I swear you're a true scholar and a poet with your choice of words. You should know that I've sucked dicks of actually talented artists and I'm writing this for you and I'm writing this for you to get more followers and, of course, give you the attention that you're looking for. I mean, we're both Kate Verdian and we need to stick together, right? I know I'm a dumb stripper, but I would love to invite you to come on to an episode of the second season of The Amber Rose Show. Maybe you can perform something from your new album. And then she has a bunch of smiley face emojis. Um... At Mona Scott Young is my right hand bitch. I have to have a convo with her to get you a little check as well. I'm going to look out for you, brother. No thank yous needed. Maybe you can come open for me when I go on tour too. Also, I'll be speaking at Harvard University, Stanford University, Syracuse University in the next couple of months about rape culture, slut shaming, body positivity, sex positivity as well. I would like to cordially invite you and your beautiful 19 year old daughter to come and get educated. Whore walk, I mean slut walk, was such a success with 7,000 men and women showing up and taking a stand against ignorant slut shamers like you. I really appreciate all the extra press that you've been giving the Amber Rose Foundation. We are forever indebted to you. So then Benzino responds, oh, you getting mad now, huh? You keep at me, huh? <laughs> I must have hit a nerve, huh? This is my last word. Now, I don't give two fucks who your right hand bitch is because I've been a boss before you were making it drop. As far as your weak ass show, just ask VH1 about the ratings. When I was on Love and Hip Hop ATL, your show couldn't even come close. Your show came in number 22 out of 24 shows on VH1. Didn't even make the top 100 on a Friday night. Stop lying to yourself and your fans, Moava. The show is sinking faster than the Titanic. Matter of fact, my last season on Love and Hip Hop ATL was the highest rated season on there till this date and trust me i'm missed and i can't wait to watch you make an ass out of yourself at harvard which my partner the real david mays has a degree at you remember him don't you then the rock party was a hit record i heard yours and we won't talk about the horrible acting that you did in your debut movie but it is what it is mava no time for you and your bs so all this back and forth between Amber Rose and Benzino was a hot damn mess. A lot of folks want to know my opinion on this situation. And, you know, this is almost like choosing between Hillary and Donald Trump. Yes, neither one of these people are running for presidents, but it's like choosing the lesser of two evils. I don't care about either one of these people. I don't give a damn about Benzino or Amber Rose, okay? I told y'all how I felt about the slut walk. I could give a shit about that slutty-ass movement. You know what I'm saying? It's a hijack movement. It's a bullshit movement. But if you choose to go and partake in the fest, do you, boo. You know what I'm saying? It's not my job to control what people do. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's grown. Um, but Benzino did make some really good points. Amber Rose does like to play both sides of the coin. She wants to scream that she's not a role model, but she has to be aware that most of the people who look up to her are young girls. Grown women like myself don't look up to Amber Rose, you know what I'm saying? But a lot of young girls really look up to her. Her fan base consists of girls who are 21 and younger, point blank period. And she has to realize that, you know? And another thing, you can't have your cake and eat it too. You can't say that, you know, you're a proud slut. You can wear what you want to wear. You can do what you want to do. You can fuck who you want to fuck. And then when folks clown you and call you a whore and a slut then you want to get in your feelings you know as far as her talk show never watched it will not watch it I'm not interested in anything she has to say um she really didn't come back with a lot of rebuttals towards him you know he made a lot of really good points but like I said, it's very hard to pick a side when your options is Benzino, you know what I mean? Um, women are held to a different standard. 
I think that's kind of bullshit. It's true and that's how society works, but it's not fair. You know, it's not okay that a man can be out here fucking whatever moves and having all types of fucking babies and having six different kids by six different women and that's supposed to be acceptable. But if a female does it, she's a whore, she's a baby mama, she's everything but a child of God. Benzino has a shitload of kids by a shitload of women and he's never been married. So, you know, by that situation, he also could be called a slut. He has about five kids and recently his youngest isn't even, I think his youngest just turned a year. The thing that bothers me with Benzino is that I see the hypocrisy on his side as well. You know, my thing is he needs to be worried about his own standards. Why is he not holding himself and other men to high standards as well? Why is it okay for men to be out here slutting around and having all types of kids, but then in the same breath, you want to wag your finger at women? At the end of the day, Amber Rose has one child with her ex-husband. Benzino, on the other hand, has how many children by how many various women? You know what I'm saying? He had a child with a chick on Love and Hip Hop ATL, literally for a storyline. And we all know that Althea is the epitome of what Amber Rose is talking about about so my thing is you can get with a girl who carries herself like a slut on the show she slept with stevie J. she slept with you and numerous other guys you know what i'm saying you have a baby with her and then she has the audacity to be at the slut walk with your child but yet and still you want to sit here and lecture amber rose you know so like i said it's like picking the lesser of two evils i don't stand by anything amber rose does but I also don't agree with Mr. All of a sudden, you know, I'm holier than thou and I need to chastise you for what it is you do. And his record isn't squeaky clean either. At the end of the day, yes, Amber Rose does want to have it both ways and it doesn't work like that. But Benzino really has no room to talk either. You know, so I can't stand by either one of these fools. They both got on my nerves with this whole back and forth. And I'm sure they'll be going back and forth for another week or so. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation concerning Amber Rose and Benzino. Are you team Benzino? Are you team Amber Rose? Who do you agree with? You know, like I said, Benzino made a lot of great points, but his track record isn't squeaky clean either. And I just don't like the hypocrisy. I don't like to hold women to certain standards, but then it's okay for men to get away with all types of bullshit. And I feel like at the end of the day, mature adults need to just carry themselves better, point blank period, regardless if you're male, female, gay, or straight. So anyways, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.